Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we're going to look at um, some uh, theory of Gungakuta method. So you have learned what is Gungakuta method in my previous um, slide. But um, in this video, we're going to look at um, some related theories of Gungakuta method. The first one that we're going to look at is rooted tree. Okay, so if let's say T is the set of rooted tree, so we have T, big T, set of rooted tree here. A rooted tree is simply a connected graph where each vertex has a single parent. Okay, for example, this is a rooted tree. 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 And this is also a rooted tree. And many more. Okay? <coughs> the order of the rooted tree is the number of vertices. Okay? Denoted by R3. This is the order. Okay? So, for example, the tree is up to 4 vertices okay so we have three up to four vertices given by this Okay, these are these are all three with four vertices. Now we can say that if you look at it, the order this is R T equals to one, this is order two, this is order three, order three, order four, order four, order four, order four. So how do you determine the order by determining the vertices? So this one vertex, two vertices. Three vertices, three vertices, four vertices, four vertices, four vertices, and four vertices. So we have this sometimes known as the tall tree. This is bushy tree. This is also the bushy tree and tall tree. Okay, so um, this is um, rooted trees, okay? So for order 4 tree, you need, uh, there are 4 order 4 trees, there are 2 order 3 trees, 1 order 2 tree, and 1 order 1 tree. Okay, now there's something else you would like to learn is the uh, function on trees. Okay, the function on trees... It's denoted by um, F. Okay, I would say you denote it by, uh, you can say that if the order of the tree is given by, so this is tau denoted for only with one vertex. Okay, then um, R of many trees, T1, T2, T3, Tm many tree is given by one plus summation i equals to one to m r t m. Okay, now where this leads to? So we say that the symmetry of the tree. Then we have a symmetry sigma tau is given by three. This is for one vertex. Okay, and then sigma. Um, symmetry for many tree T1 K1 T2 K2 Tn Km is given by 1 plus okay so this is a product 
from i equals to 1 to n sigma t i k i k i factorial okay so we have um function on the tree such as sigma and there's also gamma tau equals to one but i will for gamma for many trees many tree t1 k1 t2 k2 tn kn given by the order of the tree such as t1 t2 tm multiply with the product of the density okay so um what, what what this tells you this actually can lead you to something which i'm going to show now for example for this tree here okay we know rt is three because it has three vertices and then density gamma the density is given by the multiplication of that um, vertices so we have three here one one so it's three okay now the symmetry which is the sigma sigma here symmetry means how many like how many times it can swap on each other so we can see that this thing can go here and this thing can go here so there's two ways two ways of doing that so it's called two okay so um for example another three here one two three uh maybe four okay so order is four density is given by count all the vertices one two three four four vertices here one two three three vertices here one two two one so the product of all these will give you 24 okay four times three times two times one now the symmetry okay there's only one so you can <clears throat> there's nothing you can do here okay because symmetry will be um one if you look at the symmetry formula just now one plus the product of how many times it can rotate so there's nothing so it's just one okay so i hope um you get that idea now let's look at another definition called elementary differential Okay, elementary differential <coughs> denoted by f of t so um for this tree here i'm just going to give you an example okay how many vertices one two three four five six okay so the differential can be same as this is f triple prime f f f double prime f f so each connected uh, uh connected vertices here will have a double prime here so i can re write this as f t equals to f triple prime f f f double prime f f okay okay this is the elementary differential and then we can also have elementary weights. Denoted by psi t. So elementary weights are used to determine the order of the group given Lunga Kuta method. Okay, the order order or order condition. So for this tree here. Okay, how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
7, 8, 9. We have 9 vertices, so the order is 9. This is the order. Now, um, the function or the elementary weight is given by f triple prime, ff, f triple prime, ff, f double prime, ff. So I have f triple prime, f, f, f triple prime, f, f. And then we can have f double prime f f. Okay, so this is the elementary weights. Now, um, I'll try this is a different shape. Now, elementary weights, which is our psi t, is given by b transpose c c a c c a. C, C. So we have B transpose C squared, A, C squared, A, C squared. Okay, the one that has no connection, there's nothing up here we wrote it as C. The root will always be B, and anything in between is your A. Okay, so the last one will be the other condition. Okay, the other condition for the tree is denoted by psi t equals to 1 over gamma, which is your density. We you look at how to determine density. Okay, so for, for this tree, okay, first write down the um, elementary weight. So we have B transpose C, C. A C squared. So we have B transpose C squared A C squared. Now write down the density. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Start with 6. 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. So gamma is, gamma is, 6 times 3, which is 18. So, the order condition will be 1 over 18. Okay, let's look at one more example. Okay. Let's look at... Uh, This tree here, okay, so let's count the density, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. So my gamma is, density will be 7 times 3 times 5, okay? which is um, 35, 7 times 5, 35 times 3, 35 times 3, I think it's 105, okay, and then the other condition will be B transpose C, A, C, A, C, C, so B transpose C, A, C, A, C squared, which is 1 over 105. Okay, cool. So, we'll look at, uh, we'll see some other definition in our next video. That's all for today.